9-11, of course, had an immediate, tragic, and gut-wrenching impact, but it also laid the foundation for 20 years of U.S. involvement in the so-called War on Terror. Those American men and women, too, are all victims of 9-11, because as 17's Robert Price discusses with two local veterans, no one comes home from war unchanged. When those hijacked passenger jets attacked the symbols of American wealth, influence, and power, Bailey Hale was in junior high. Evan Morgan was in high school, but had already enlisted in the Army's delayed entry plan. Both men served in Iraq. Morgan came back with visible wounds. I was injured by an IED on January 1st, 2005. I lost both of my legs, one above the knee and one below the knee. And then uh, this eye, everything you see here on this side of my face has all been reconstructed. This eye is blind. Others aboard Morgan's destroyed vehicle were injured as well, just not outwardly so. A lot of people had to see a lot of bad things that day. I talk to them still sometimes. They're the difficult conversations for them to have, but they saved my life. Hale, Morgan's friend and colleague, can identify with that type of injury. He carries the burden of PTSD, post-traumatic stress syndrome, which affects up to 20% of all military personnel. And over time, according to emerging research, potentially many more. It's intense, the, the feeling of anxiety that you get. You know that you're home or you're safe or you're secure, you're, you're, you're with your family, but you still get these deep, heavy anxiety feelings. And, um, and yes, you never, you're never the same. Hale, who served in Army aviation, is the co-owner with former Sheriff's Deputy Chris McAnulty of Crusader Brewing Company, a veteran and first responder friendly brew pub on District Boulevard. Morgan, who served in the Army Infantry, is their director of marketing and communications. They're glad to see that the war in Afghanistan, a direct consequence of 9-11, is over. They're just not happy with the way it ended. It feels a bit in vain. At those times, I think we try to think of the lives, perhaps, that we did improve or did touch. Although they acknowledge that 9-11 dramatically shaped their lives, they prefer to think of the 20-year commemoration of September 11th, 2001, as a time to honor not so much military veterans as first responders. I think of watching the footage that day and watching, you know, Transit Authority and NYPD and the fire department running up those towers as people were running out. I think it's important to remember that there's those people here domestically that are willing to do what we do, you know, internationally. Bailey became emotional at the thought of having to review a packet of information about the 9-11 terror attacks sent home by his child's teacher. When I was in junior high, I didn't think, oh, one day I'm going to have kids and I'm going to have to teach them about this. I'm not... I can't even do it, man. I'm gonna have to show them this video. Yeah. Yep. Yep. 20 years later, the sting of that day and all it brought home to American families remains. In Southwest Bakersfield, Robert Price, 17 News.